there's nothing of greater value than realizing the peace that you are realizing the present moment that you're in there's nothing of greater value but even you know the question of black and white is it really this black and white it's still when I when I talk about these things and I'm trying to help bring clarity to you I'm I don't see that as black and white at all. I don't, I don't see. I don't see that there are two possibilities here. There are two different ways. There are millions of ways that you can go. Are you going to be present in it? You can go one way, decide to go another way, decide to return to the original way. Yeah. You're not forsaking anything or, you know, it's, it's not like that as long as you are able to recognize the present moment. The the snare only comes when you begin to build, you believe that you're building your own life. The snare comes when you go, okay, I'm gonna do this thing. I'm this now, and you begin to identify, I am an engineer, and now you're making this money, and now I'm, oh, well, I have this much money, let me, let me build my own house and oh, let me upgrade my car and let me get this and let me get that and you just keep raising you get a new raise and now you keep raising the means you're living higher and higher means higher and higher 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 and you just and you're going and you're going and now you you will come to a place where the ego doesn't feel that it can escape that's a snare and the only way of escape for that would be to let it all go and find a monastery somewhere or come to my land when I have it, return to that and figure out what it means to be mindful again. Yeah. Because, but, but if you want to create something, then create it, play with it. But be present in doing it. This moment is all that there is. Right now, who you truly are will never be an engineer. That's just a game. That's just a canvas that you're going to paint on or that you might color on for a while. What society has taught you is that you are supposed to go to high school, get out of high school, find a, something you wanted to major in, go to four years or six years of college and get a degree so that then you can begin to make money doing this thing that maybe you will enjoy. Who knows if you will or not because you have never done it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I just know that this is kind of the way my mind works. So I think I'm going to go do this. And, and this is what society teaches. And we have an entire generation of people with degrees that they're not using because they started doing something that they don't even enjoy. Right. Or they did it, or they are doing it, and they hate it, but they're doing it because they're stuck. Why are we stuck? Because we can't enjoy the moment we're in. The ego can't enjoy the moment it's in. Can't do it. I can't stop doing it. I won't. I'll have to lose my house. Then lose your house. I can't stop doing it. How would I pay for my car payment? Lose your car payment. But if Silas, if I don't go get a degree and get, then I won't be successful. I won't have 
money to have a nice place and live the American dream. Good, don't live the American dream. There's nothing of greater value than being present, of discovering that you are the peace. This earth doesn't need more millionaires. Nothing wrong with being a millionaire. If you want to create a million dollars, create a million dollars, create a billion. But this earth, the earth, I'm talking about the earth, it doesn't care about money because it's not real. What it needs is, are the feet, the steps of someone that is peace. That with every step you're releasing peace into the earth. Because the vast majority of humanity with their steps are releasing stress and anxiety, fear, depression. That's what's being released. And they've got lots of money though. <laughs> Yay, you got lots of money, right? So be clear, I'm just being clear. You can create, go whatever path you want. It's not the end, there is no end, it's impermanent. If you think you're going and you're pursuing this engineer thing and it's going to be something that in 40 years you're still doing, maybe, maybe we'll. Maybe. Are you still identified as the one that went to the school to get the, the, the degree so that you could get the job and make the money? As if you are, you will feel the pressure of needing to become something. And, and you won't find true satisfaction in it. Because true satisfaction is never found in something that you're doing or becoming. You can create the greatest masterpiece your Sistine Chapel, if you will, okay? But you won't be satisfied with it, but for a few moments. And you'll be on to another one. The ego is never satisfied. Or you could just simply be satisfied in every breaststroke. And whether the Sistine Chapel, your Sistine Chapel, whatever that is for you, gets completed or not is irrelevant because you're full in every breaststroke, fully present in every breath, in every step. And then You'll find joy in all the little impermanent things. You'll find joy in the trees. You hear that bird chirping behind me? Will it be here in 10 years? Will that exact bird still be alive in 10 years? Probably not. <laughs> Most birds don't live a long time. Probably not. Will, but I can take joy in the sound of the bird in this moment. It can be music to my ears. I can find great joy in the sound of the bird if I'm truly mindful, truly present. My mind and my body can hear it and it can be the most beautiful sound even greater than your favorite musician. Because in this moment it should be your favorite musician. See, it's the only musician that's playing, that's singing in this moment, isn't it? Okay. It won't be here in 10 years. You can take joy in the ant as it was crawling up your leg, or you can take joy and enjoy it. Is the ant going to be here in 40 years? Follow the point. <laughs> Follow the point. I'm pointing at something. <laughs> Don't get lost and distracted by the, my finger. I'm pointing to something, okay? 
The point is, no, it's impermanent. That ant will not be here in 40 years. But there's somehow there's an idea in your mind that is like that ant or like that bird song. But you're thinking of it in terms of that it's permanent or that it's thinking of this thing, this idea in your mind as if it's an end thing. Enjoy it, but realize its impermanence. You are much more than an engineering degree. You are much more than dollar signs, than ideas. Those things come and go. Enjoy them while you have them. They will not last forever. If you have a nice house, enjoy the nice house. But it can burn down. The economy can collapse and you could lose it. If you have a nice car, enjoy it. But it will get scratched. You can get in a car accident. It will get old. It will depreciate in value. These are just things that really don't have much value outside of the moment you're in. But what we do is in our mind, we're thinking of them. So you have a really nice car. You're not even in the car, and yet your mind is thinking of the car. Not in the car. When you're in the car, enjoy the car. Do you see the difference between learning to be present in whatever it is that you're doing and looking outside of yourself for that thing? If I just get this thing, then I, then I'll really be excited. Then I'll really be happy. Then I'll really find fulfillment. Looking outside of yourself in the thing is like what you're saying. That's that's your driving force. Is you're you're going after this because you need it. Mm -hmm. you need it. Versus the other one is you can go after it, but it's not because it's not for the same motive as much as for fun or exploration. Just that's what's happening. You realize it's impermanent, you realize there's no, it's not essential, it's not needed, it's not even honestly of great value. But what is of great value is that you enjoy it. If you were sitting here in your mind thinking of NACO and medicine for the people and thinking of uh, the music that they played, you would completely miss the sound of the crickets, of the, of the little bugs that are flying, of the birds that are singing, of the breeze that is whipping through the trees. It's what's so important that you learn, regardless of what happens, your journey of, of awakening, your journey of enlightenment, your journey of mindfulness is far from complete, it's just beginning. regardless of which direction you go. This is just beginning. So it doesn't matter whether you're putting together a podcast or working on a website or whether you're doing some engineer work. Are you present in it?
true joy is found in the present. It's not found in what you're doing. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.